All right, and just like that, we found our way from Pagosa Springs up to the Durango KOA. Doesn't Durango roll off the uh, roll off the tongue nicely? So they had originally put us into this spot here. They had put us into the spot 102, I think it was, and there's not a lot of whole, not a whole heck of a lot of shade in this spot. You can see there's virtually no shade in this spot. So I made a phone call up to the office before we set up camp and I asked if we could have one of the adjacent spots and we uh, were fortunate to have been able to get space number 103 and you can see I had my uh, had my travel companion back me up so she's got a nice view from her uh, sleeping area you know with her sunroof she's gonna look right up look right up into the into the trees so she's got a really nice nice shaded spot here so this is what they call a pull through spot meaning you don't have to back in and uh, I've got the hookup I've got cable TV water and, and electric and I think this space costs you about fifty dollars a night something like that so it is a, uh, you know, from the, uh, from the road, you know, I think that the campsite that we stayed at last night was, was nicer, the uh, one up in the Pagosa Pines campsite was nicer. It had a lot more, a lot more shade, a lot more, a lot more comfortable. But, you know, for two nights, this will be uh, wonderful. We actually missed the train, so I underestimated the the distance to get from, uh, I underestimated the distance to get from Pagosa Springs over to, uh, over to um, the Durango Railway. And uh, as such, I called and asked them if we could, if we could not just uh, take the, uh, the train tomorrow. So what we're gonna do Let's go to Mesa Verde today. We'll go to Mesa Verde, and that's only about a 40-minute drive, and it actually works out better because we can do that today and tomorrow. Tomorrow we will. Uh, tomorrow we will do the the train. So here you see they have a a cook shack right here. We've got a train. They actually have a, a barbecue here. From a uh, from a train, you can see like a locomotive. You open that up, and you got your your barbecue area. And then come around. I I grab my unicycle. Maybe I'll take you for a short little ride. Now at nighttime, you can go in. I was in the office, and they sell rubber ducks and each rubber duck has a number on it and for two dollars you put yourself into the pool and uh, see if you can't win the, the rubber duck contest so there's a uh, that's what's called a camping cabin right there let's probably go for about 80 to 80 to 100 dollars a night Nice little stream. If I'm not mistaken, probably about uh, three or four miles from downtown. I think my uh, I think my device actually went uh, went out on me, but I'll try to do this without the. I think my battery actually went out. Let's see if I can fire this thing back up. So I'm using this, uh, here we go. So for whatever reason, the, for whatever reason the battery went out or the turned off or something on this. Oh, I know why. Because I have the, that's why. So the, I disconnected the, excuse the camera work. I disconnected the uh, 
battery pack by accident from the from the Ronin device. So you're looking at this thing sideways here. There we go. Let's see there. Now it's corrected itself. So I didn't have the battery pack situated, but often the uh, off in the distance you can see snow covered snow covered mountaintops coming in. I don't think that those are the the Rocky Mountains, although I could be could be mistaken. But you can see off in the off in the distance you have the uh, snow covered mountaintops. And then here is your your office or your your camp store. So they have duck races Saturday at 6.30. And we'll go in and show you the show you the uh, the office here, kind of give you a feel for what you can what you can buy. So they got breakfast. You can see. Then you come in and no shortage of things you could buy. I actually got my uh, LTC to try on one of these cowgirl hats up here. And uh, she looks really good in it, to be quite honest. So here is your, here's your selection. Here's the, here's the hat. I'm looking for a, uh, actually looking for a hat that I can get. There's no shortage of different camping stuff that you can buy. Some of the staples. And they got mini golf. So you could play a little little mini golf. And then over here they have the uh, the ducks. You see? So you can buy a duck for two dollars. Put the duck in the water. You see? And if you win, each duck has a little number on the bottom. You know, such as that. So you, you, you pick your duck and then uh, you pick your duck and, and you wish luck, okay? So seeing as there's nobody else around right now, maybe I could ask this lovely lady if there's some way, is there some way that you and I could fix the duck race tonight? I'll buy a duck, okay? I'll buy a duck and you arrange, okay? So we'll We'll just, you just pick the duck out. I'll, I'll buy number 79, okay. okay? I'll buy 79, and when the ducks all get to the bottom, you pick the winning duck, and no matter what it says on the bottom, just say, duck 79. Can you say that? Let me I hear. won't be there, but I can ask the owner if they'll do that. Oh, you can? <laughs> I'll ask him. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, there you have it, folks. You gotta try, you know? You gotta try to fix the race if you can. But, That's uh, right. You know, there's a little uh, KOA Teddy for my uh, mom back there in, uh, in, in East Lake, Ohio. And these, these are the guides. These are the guys that make the big bucks here. Oh. You know, they pay these guys the no. big bucks to guide you in to the, uh, the same size as yours. To the campsites. I don't even have one to show you. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to fix the duck race tonight. Who, who, who's going to be picking the duck out of the... Uh, uh, the manager? The manager and, uh, so that manager probably wouldn't be into fixing the race. Yeah, he would. He might. He, he might. The money. All right, yeah. we'll see. For the right amount of money, he'll fix it. All right. So let's uh, let's continue on with the continue on with the tour. You never know when you come to a campsite like this. You know, sometimes you uh, sometimes you really really win a really beautiful, you know, not win, but you you pull into a really gorgeous campsite that you could just settle down for a week or two. Here they have a garden. Looks like they have a, here's your herb garden. English thyme. Very nice. It's a bit warm today. It's actually, uh, Actually, rather warm. 
here's a swimming pool. New laps. No jacuzzi though, unfortunately. It's always nice when you pull into a campground and they've got a uh, got a jacuzzi for you. So here's a space a little bit off the road. This would be a tent site. You pitch a tent over here. So that's about it, folks. There's your tour of the uh, Durango, the Durango KOA. And actually just up the just up the road up here I see a uh, what looks like a smaller version of a little guy Max campsite. Here's the gentleman just pulling in from Utah, or maybe he's pulling out at a small little camper. How you doing? You have a nice little camp there? Yeah, it's just a rock. <laughs> and here's a, here's a little camper, look at this. Bumper, little sticker on the window says keep it wild. There's a little tiny one. Alright folks, have a, uh, have a wonderful day. It's on to uh, Mesa Verde.